international commercial law is one product within the Oxford Legal Research Library family and is one of the first products that we are launching in the product family. I'm Rachel Mullally and uh, my role is Senior Commissioning Editor on the Commercial Law List at OUP. The titles included in International Commercial Law were chosen very much for their status as authoritative works. Um, they have, many of them have world renown in terms of their authorship and the level of analysis included, but also because the reach of the content that they include is global on its scale. So not only are they key titles on the commercial law list at OUP, but they're also um, titles of world renown and um, they are all specially chosen for their impact in the international arena. The um, content features heavily on global sales law and um, accompanying that are a number of titles on international contract law um, which have a great synergy obviously with international law of sale um, and there are other titles that are more specialised and feature on things such as the carriage of goods um, in a sale context and also the payment and documentation of the sale of goods. There will be titles added to the service um, for appropriateness of um, content and they will be titles that are equally applicable on a global, global scale. The content will be updated a couple of times a year in terms of the actual titles that are on the service but um, in addition to that there will be um, new editions put up on the service and uh, relevant new titles as and when they publish. The content included in the service is unique because of the quality of the authorship. Um, the authors have written these commentaries or narratives from um, an individual perspective. They include their opinions and their views and therefore this information or this specific analysis cannot be got anywhere else. There are a number of ways that you can use the search facility in the service and um, specifically you can search for author, you can search on title, you can search on subject and then within that you can make a more advanced search by making the search increasingly more detailed until you um, narrow down either the number of titles or the number of results that you're getting by more specific searching. The structure of the chapters or entries varies according to the title that you are searching across. So for example, for some of the big commentaries on conventions, they will be ordered by um, in an article by article system often, whereas the more narrative titles will be um, ordered by paragraph um, or with individual paragraph numbers. The Oxford Law Citator enables you to link to any OUP product with relevant uh, reference to the, the subjects that you're actually researching. Um, through that you can also um, link out to any reliable reference outside the Oxford service that um, is, is not necessarily an OUP product so that you have a very powerful search tool that enables you to bring up all of the reliable references available for that particular subject. The product is of great use to the practitioner because um, it aims to save the practitioner time in research all of the titles that are included in the service are of um, direct usability for a lot of international commercial law practitioners and therefore they might have to, to find an answer, they might have to traditionally go to each book one after the other, but with the product then they have to do just one search and they can get uh, results immediately at their desk. The product is really useful for uh, the researcher or the law student because they know that the results that they're going to get are the most complete that they can within that subject area. It saves them time and they know that they have the full set of references once they've completed their research through the service.